And so this video is specifically for people who are lean, who are successfully losing fat, but have hit a plateau. And I want to explain something really important in terms of your fat loss. And this is, comes down to this term, adaptive thermogenesis. Now, the leaner we get, in my opinion, the harder it becomes to shift that stubborn fat. So why is this? Well, because essentially the evolution of our body means that our body does not care that we want to look good on Instagram. It does not care that we want to be 8% shredded uh, with abs. Our body wants to preserve an amount of stored fat as energy for times of emergency. And so as we lose body fat, as we lose overall weight, our body will readjust to, to our new weight and our calorie expenditure will decrease as our body becomes more efficient uh, at, at using calories with that lesser body mass. And so adaptive thermogenesis based on fat loss is the process whereby the body is readjusting the amount of energy that it can operate on. And depending on the speed of your fat loss, this can become disproportionate in relation to the a low amount of calories you are eating. And so this hormone called leptin is important. Leptin, the energy hormone. And so what will happen is your body will decrease the amount of leptin thereby increasing hunger and encouraging you to eat more, to return your body to more sustainable fat loss levels according to how your body perceives it. And so the leaner you get, the harder it's going to be to, to stimulate this fat loss. So what can you do? Well, there are a few approaches we can take. What I can say in terms of nutrition is we don't have the research to back up these different nutritional approaches to breaking these plateaus. But we can use good common sense, solid principles to approach this. Now, I'm not a nutritionist, so I need to be careful to not outreach. But one aspect of nutrition that I do feel confident in stating is that maintaining adequate protein levels are vital during these times of fat loss and these times when you are lean and approaching these fat loss plateaus. Why is that? Well, of course, on the one hand, because protein, as you will know, Will, will is vital in terms of muscle maintenance, but also because of the thermic effect of food. Now, protein as a macronutrient, there's a thermic effect of you uh, digesting and processing protein where you're actually going to burn calories. And with, with protein, the thermic, of, the thermic effect is greater than with the other macronutrients. And so one approach you can take is to increase your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Now essentially this means that the energy expenditure, the calories you are burning just from daily activities, this is not including your specific training sessions. This is just for example me making this video, you typing on your keyboard, getting up, walking to the bathroom. These are the daily uh, energy expenditures you're placing on your body. Now why do I say this? Well because the leaner you get, the more fat you lose, most likely you have intense training sessions, you have dietary restriction of, of food intake, you may be feeling a bit tired, a bit weak at times, a bit hungry. And so maybe one of the natural responses to that is outside of your training sessions to, to take your general daily activity a bit lighter. So actively and consciously trying to increase the amount of calorie burn throughout the day, walking around, taking part in activities is one very valid way that you can help to break through this fat loss plateau. And so you can also think about your training sessions. Now, of course, resistance training is essential. Maintaining muscle mass, increasing muscle mass, which of course is going to increase your basal metabolic rate. But these intense training sessions will put this energy demand on your body. And the leaner we get, the lower in body fat we get, again, due to tiredness, fatigue, there may be a temptation to decrease the intensity of your training. And actually, I just think it's very important to maintain an intense level of training. That will come down to intangible factors, the intangible factor of the discipline, the motivation. And, and that's something that needs to come from you. Something that I'm doing is to actually slow down my fat loss. Now, that might sound confusing. Well, I want to break through a fat loss plateau. 
Why would you slow down your fat loss? Well, because I want to change my caloric deficit. I want to actually, at the moment, I'm increasing my food intake. I'm decreasing my caloric deficit. I'm trying to force my body to to work on different energy uh, levels and with different stresses. Now, is this scientifically backed? Well, no, it's not because calorie cycling per se does not have strong scientific research behind it. But this is something that I'm going to experiment with. Previously, I was around about a thousand deficit per day and I was losing fat very nicely and it got to the point as I got lean as I am now where my energy levels felt bad I I couldn't and this affected my need my daily uh, caloric expenditure through general activities and so what I've done is to decrease my caloric deficit this will slow down my fat burning but that's fine I don't have a time frame to work towards I'm in no rush and as a result of this I can increase my movement throughout the day the activities I'm participating in and I can also make sure that I have intensive training sessions and so this is Shredder Sports Science thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon